now the good thing is that we have done with our basic steps related with the implementation of dr and we perform some steps on microsoft azure asr and then uh, we perform some basic steps on our on premise host infrastructure so when we done with our fundamental implementation so here you can see now asr is capable to discover our newly host which is node 1 and this this host machine you can verify from here as well here you can see uh, hyper v manager services running on my host machine uh, uh, which name is node 1 and here you can see i have lots of vms running on this host infrastructure as well so it means that now my asr infrastructure is capable to discover all um, vms inside the node 1 if you want to verify that the node 1 vms are discoverable so for that purpose we need to move with the uh, replicated items infrastructure so when you click on the uh, recovery services vault you just need to click on the replicated items here you can see a uh, lots of vms already replicated which we implemented previously and status is protected and healthy is also showing over here if you want to replicate any new vm from your existing infrastructure which is inside your on premise data center so the process is really really simple you just need to click on the uh, replicate button over here here you can see so from the drop down list you can see we have four major options which we previously discussed so i just need to replicate a hyper v uh, virtual machine over here so just click hyper v to azure so here you can see my site is already exist over here which is claxton so i just need to click on the next button when i click on the next button so it come up with the the default options how we are going to implement and what kind of uh, subscription i have and what kind of resource group i have over here and in the same manner i need to select the virtual network because uh, um, uh, you know that right now we are going to connect to infrastructure the one is our secondary data center which is asr microsoft asr and uh, our site one data center which is our on premise data center so we have two sites site one and site two so these two sites must have to be connect with each other and for that purpose we need a virtual network so i have already created uh, clx uh, mig uh, virtual uh, network over here so uh, you can create although right now it's beyond the scope of this journey uh, that we are going to uh, discuss about how we can create the virtual network although i'll uh, upload a document related to the implementation of virtual network with the help of you can uh, with the help of that document you can easily create your virtual network infrastructure as well and if you want to explore all kinds of fundamental concepts so here i have my uh, free course available on the udemy uh, from where you can get all the fundamental informations from concepts to skills uh, with this uh, course as well so let's move uh, i select the uh, uh, virtual network over here and the subnet for uh, that virtual network as well and click on the next button when i click on the next button here you can see a uh, number of vms uh, appear over here so if i want to uh, just verify that our node 1 vms are available over here or not so for that purpose i just need to click uh, ca vm over here so here you can see uh, ebs ca 2012 r2 vm is discoverable so if you want to verify that vm so here you can see uh, ebs ca 2012 vm is available over here so it means that now our environment is working properly and we can discover all virtual uh, machines from our node one host to uh, asr as well so in the coming episodes we are going to replicate a single machine uh, as a demo purpose from our node one to uh, microsoft asr infrastructure and see how these uh, these disaster recovery uh, implementation is working uh, when when we move forward with this journey so let's move with the next episode